everybody, it's Wendy, welcome. I'm so excited to show you how this cute card is made today. I'm actually just showing you the slider piece, so we're not gonna go into the whole card, but before we do that, I wanted to show you these kits that I still have available. These were from the April Stamp Lovers Club, and um, I made extra kits, and so if you're interested in purchasing these kits, I've created a, ho or I'm sorry, in getting these kits for free, you can place a $50 order with me and I've created a host code that you would use and I will mail you these two kits for free. I have quite a few of them so I don't think I'll run out. However, they are while supplies last. So if you wanna email me and check if I still have the kits before you place an order, you're welcome to do that. Um, but I'll only have these around till April 24th. So after April 24th, those will be gone. Okay, so here's the card um, we're making today, and I've already done most of the stuff. I've colored, I've prepped, because these videos on Thursdays are just to show you how to do something. They're not necessarily to show you an entire card. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is make the little penny slider. In this case, it's a dime, and the only reason it's a dime is because my crab was too narrow in the body to fit a penny behind. So I have a couple pieces pieces of crumb cake cardstock and I'm taking my word window punch on the front piece and I'm just gonna go across the cardstock with the punch, lining it up each time to create a slot. This is the slot that my slider will slide through. <coughs> Excuse me. Still in recovery from that cold, but it's getting a lot better. So anyway, um, you can pick up the word window punch in my online store and um, this is how we make the slider. So on the back of this little crabby coo here, I am going to stick one of the dimes and I'm using the tear and tape adhesive to do that. You definitely need a really strong adhesive to stick these items together. You don't want to use like snail adhesive or something like that. You want to use an adhesive that's going to be really sticky and really strong because you don't want your um, little slider piece falling off the front of your dime. So now I'm just going to stick that dime onto the back of the crab and that will be my piece for the front. And then I need to add dimensionals. So I'm going to get dimensionals and I'm going to stack two on top of each other. Now, the reason for that is just to make it so that there's plenty of space in between the two dimes. And then you can see I trim away a little bit of the dimensional because that slider slot is not quite wide enough for a, a whole dimensional. So I'm peeling off the release backing, adding my dimensional on, then I'm gonna add it to the slider so I just set the slider right on top of there. I'm gonna show you this way so you can see. So now my dimensionals are sticking through the back. Then I'm gonna peel the release paper off of there. And all I'm doing right here is I'm going around the edges and rubbing my fingers so that it won't be super sticky on the edges. And that way it won't get caught in that slider. So now I'm adding my dime to the back. So that's it, it's so incredibly simple. Now I'm gonna show you how to uh, assemble the card. I should mention that I made this card for the Global Design Challenge because um, their theme this week is nature and I thought it'd be fun to do this little crab on a beach. So that was fun. So I'm using a whole bunch of dimensional tape here that um, I got at the local hardware store, which they switched to the kind of tape I use and I don't like the new stuff. You see how sticky it is. So all that's to say I'm not using that stuff anymore. And uh, I'm going to have to order it on Amazon now, the, but anyway, so I'm adhering this piece down to the back. <coughs> the reason for that is you want to be able, when you look through that little slider slot, I wanted the same color through there. So technically you could have adhered that little piece down to the front of the card, but then you would have this white strip and I wanted it to be like a sand color all the way through. So now I'm just removing the release paper off of my tear and tape adhesive. I'm using tear and tape adhesive because it's stronger and this is heavy. This little slider piece is heavy. Um, so I just want to make sure it sticks. 
I stamped the sun in Daffodils of Light from the kind of eclectic stamp set. And I stamped the two little clouds in Bermuda Bay ink with the Sprinkles of Life stamp set, which is a great stamp set because it's our Ronald McDonald House charity stamp set. So a portion of the profits go towards them. Then I'm adding, uh, I added a little piece of Bright's Designer Series paper there. It's a half inch by like two and a half or three inches. And then I heat white heat embossed little happy birthday sentiment on basic black to go over the top. And then I'm just going to add some rhinestones to each side and that'll complete this card. And I just think it is the sweetest, cutest little card for, um, a birthday for a little kid. I mean, a kid would get the biggest kick out of this. Oh, so would an adult. I mean, anybody who got this card would just think it's so super fun. So anyway, that's the card and I love how it turned out and that's how you make a penny slider. And then you just have this really cute little object that slides back and forth and tumbles around and looks so super stinking cute and adorable. Okay, some fun news coming up for Stampin' Up! Just so you know, on Monday, the retiring Stampin' Up! list is coming out. So make sure you check my blog for that and I'll be doing a video to remind you. If you want to watch other how-to videos that I've done, you can click on either of the images you see here. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. I would appreciate it and like this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.